Hi to all the gentlemen at the Gentlemen's Pixel Club. Hi, I'm Samantha Fox, and I know that you love that retro YouTube channel that shows all the games. Do you remember my game called Strip Poker? That was way back in the 80s, but one of the first people to do a game that lads really enjoyed. Um, anyway, I'm, I'm gonna send my love to you all. Carry on watching that fab YouTube channel. And um, yeah, we all love a bit of retro. And I'm getting a bit retro now. <laughs> anyway, lots of love to all you guys. And um, keep enjoying that channel. Lots of love, Samantha Fox. Touch me. Welcome to the channel. This is an impromptu video, one that I wasn't planning on doing, but only a few of your British hours ago. And don't worry, the British invented time, so it is a British hours. This channel became two years old, and it was, oh my God, I actually missed the event happening. It was probably maybe 24, 48 hours ago, and in the, the big time of space and everything else like that, 48 hours isn't very long. And I had an alert on YouTube, and I thought, oh my God, I've got to do a video to say thank you to all you bright people. So this is, me saying thank you thank you very much we are a small channel we are looking to get 1000 subscribers if you like the videos if you want to comment on the videos if you want to share the videos and if you want to subscribe to the channel it would mean the world to me it really would everything you do helps the youtube algorithm we've been going two years we are nearly at the magic 1000 subs and you know what for a market for a market that is so compressed where you've got so many so many retro type videos channels everything else like that i'm so proud about what all of you have helped me to do honestly from the bottom of my heart it means the world to me we will not be monetized we are not commercialized or anything else like this this is purely a hobby channel where you've got a little old me in the background doing silly things once in a while making videos for all of you so let's have a look while we speak of videos on what we've done since the last channel update well we played indiana jones fortune and glory and we played this using future pinball future pinball is an emulator to effectively play um pinball tables that have been designed from people's minds or recreated from originals let's jump forward a little bit here and boom so let's click play and off we go you know this was a great game you can see the action here going on you can see the glasses coming up from behind when you look at the little avatar i've got there but if you've not played pinball before on the pc Future Pinball, Visual Pinball, and we'll talk again about Visual Pinball a bit later on, is the way forward. They've been around for years and years and years, but you download the emulator, download the tables, maybe add a ROM or two. You know, sometimes it takes a little bit of work to get running, but you are left with a fantastic, brilliant, brilliant experience. And that brilliant experience in the case of this was Indiana Jones Fortune and Glory shown on Future Pinball that we're playing there. We also played Beam NG Drive now. My mind was blown when we did this video. When I did that video, I was so, so tired. I really, really, really was. And let's just jump forward a little bit. In fact, here we are. Let's get some action going on. Where is some action? Um, I can't, here we are. We've got to destroy the van. That looked a bit of fun. So let's destroy the van. Yeah, I was so tired when I was making this video. And this has all kinds of scenarios, different things to do, different things to play. And by the time this video was finished... The tide disc was completely gone. You know, it was a time sink, and I had so much fun doing this. But you can do all different kinds of things with this, and this game has effectively never-ending possibilities in what it allows you to do, what it allows you to play. And as I say, absolutely lovely, absolutely lovely to play, and a hell of a lot of fun. It really, really was a lot of fun. So what else did we do on the channel? We played Chase HQ 2. Now, this is on the techno parrot emulator and the techno parrot emulator allows you to play a bit more modern pc type games and these are these are pc games that are effectively put in arcades so you know the arcade machine has got a pc here chase hq2 is cell shaded as you can see within the techno parrot emulator i don't demonstrate it but you can actually turn off that cell shading i quite like it so i left it there this game is a lot easier than the original one i played the original chase hq a long long time ago back in the early days of this channel when this channel wasn't two years old 
old. Happy birthday to the Gentleman's Pixel Club. Um, no, it wasn't two years old at that particular point, but you know, it was brutally, brutally hard. This I didn't find so hard, and I enjoyed playing this. I like a lot of games on the Techno Power Emulator. We're doing a few of these at the moment to get some of these done, recorded, signed, sealed, and delivered. And you know what? They're worth doing because that video games, and this is a video game channel. So, what else did we do? Well, you know what we've did a few before us through, but we played Severed Still. Holy Dingleberries of Doom. This game. This game was absolutely awesome. Take John Wick. Take Tron. Take The Matrix. Take Max Payne. And mix them all together. And this is what you've got. This is on the PC. But let's just jump forward a little bit here. In fact, let's jump forward quite a bit. So there's going to be a fair bit of action that's going on here. It is absolutely glorious. You know, you've got bullet time to slow down like I'm doing there. You shoot the enemies and when they're dead, they pop. Your gun, when it runs out of ammo, um, you basically you can throw it as the last thing you do. You can pick up another gun automatically. You can swap them by hitting E on the keyboard. But this game just oozes fun. You know, it's just absolutely excellent. Everything... Everything you can destruct in this. And, you know, this game, what, what, what was good, there's a sniper there. I'm trying to hit him. Will I hit him? I don't remember whether I hit him. I can't remember. Are we going to hit him? No, we've run out of ammo. So there you go. I'm doing a jump and I kick that enemy, grab that gun, bounce off the wall. And my health is, I'm a bit damaged as you can see here. Bullet time to slow down. Bullet time to blow things up. Trying to get him. Will I get him? I just don't know. But yeah, glorious, glorious, glorious. This game is absolutely brilliant. And I'd never seen it before. Got it on the Hubble bundle, so pleased I did. So, we did Visual Pinball. Now, we've recently done Pinball, but what we did on this one is we played a selection of tables. So, here we are. This is Visual Pinball, not Future Pinball, but we are playing um, Attack from Mars here. And great, great representation of it. And you may have a look at the top there. And that, that, that DMD is in colour. For some of the great Pinball tables, you can download coloured dmds which is basically the alpha display and it just goes together so well great sounds great music obviously i've got that muted because the only voice that we're hearing at the moment is my voice but yeah a lot of fun playing that we then played other tables during this journey we played kiss um one of you great people they said you know what was the kiss table you know they remember playing the kiss table well this is it on visual pinball again this cost me nothing zero of your british pounds to actually be doing um all of this is available for free i nudged the table there that's why it jumped up i don't do much nudging in this video because i'm not very good at that and i generally make sure that the balls i was going to lose um you know potentially i definitely lose if i do a nudge we uh, we played a few actually on here so let's jump forward a little bit more we played woe and nelly so this game here basically the the balls are melons for some reason and you work in a melon farm of all places and you know you can do uh effectively quite a few points there i got quite a big high score on this this is probably my second time playing through and just for shits and giggles for a little bit you know if you search hard enough uh, there's actually a nude version of this table as well and have a guess have a guess what the melons are replaced by. Yes, more melons. All right, so jumping forward a little bit more, we played Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter is a table that doesn't exist in the real world, but it has been created by an author. Um, and this is their vision. This is what they wanted to show. And holy hell, you know, this really tickles the Star Wars theme. It works so well. The uh, counter is a little bit different on the score on the left-hand side, how it goes up. But as I say, these are people's visions of what they want to do. And all of this is available within Visual Pinball. And this is one of the rare videos that I actually do where you have effectively a lot of games strung in one video. I'll probably get to doing more of those in the near future. Um, but for the purpose of this, I wanted to showcase um, quite a lot of Visual Pinball tables. You know, we will have a look and see what else we did as well. So jump forward again. This is Star Wars. You all know what Star Wars is. And this has got, again, the colored DMD. So this has been recolored and it just works so well. I had a lot of fun playing this. We played a couple of goes on this. And, you know, this one, I, I wasn't so bad at this particular pinball. And the old skills started to slowly, slowly return. Okay, what else did we do? We played a couple more. There's a couple more on this journey, if I recall. Um, that's still Star Wars. We played that one for a while, didn't we? Let's jump forward. Here we go. So this is Vulcan. This doesn't exist. This was a strange pinball where you could score on the left-hand side as Tweed. You could score on the right-hand side as 
barren and you know look at we do multiple there but great sounds great music great effects worked beautifully and it was the aesthetics it was the graphics that made me download this i had no affinity with this because i've never seen it before this was someone's vision and i am damn glad i got this table what else did we play on here there's a couple more i think we played vulcan again and here we are the final one we played the twilight zone and this is the original twilight zone table but it's been done in black and white so this is what they call a mod um and the mod is everything is literally black and white with the odd splash of color here and there but not too much the dmd is in a nice sort of whitey uh, faded color and again works absolutely beautifully a lot of fun a lot of fun playing this and if you've got any love of pinball yes you can go and spend money on pinball fx and, and you can buy tables that are already done for you but you know what most of those tables are already available in future pinball in visual pinball now of the two visual pinball in my mind is the more accurate of the pinball tables because it does some things um that future pinball doesn't do but future pinball gives you some great cinematic experiences and we've got some of those we will go back to at some point so what else did we do on the channel we played virtual striker 2 version 98 if that means absolutely anything and this is a good time to be playing this game because you know we've got women's football going on here at the moment now these aren't women but you go there i'm trying to score a goal i'm totally screwing this up um these are men playing but it's trying to get into the spirit of things but you know this goes back to 1998 and you know what women's football doesn't have the floor show that it currently has at the moment do i score I, oh no i don't score yes i do score look i can actually do something in the game but yeah Big, big, big fun was had there. Really enjoyed this. And um, this is a great, great arcade experience. Um, you can play this on the uh, Supermodel emulator. Um, this one, I believe it was. Might need to double check what emulator. Yeah, I think it was a Supermodel emulator. But yeah, great, great fun there. And finally, finally, we go to the Techno Palette emulator to play another version of Daytona Championship USA. This is actually Daytona 3. Uh, let's jump forward here just a little bit and get playing. And, you know, there was a, there's a couple of nice touches here where when you play, um, when you overtake cars or get near cars or they come near you, um, that view is awful on one of the view switches you've got here. If we get near a car, which might be possible, but my plane was really shoddy on some of this. You've got some hang gliders out the window on the left here. They're a little bit far away, but you get these heads up here on the left hand side but you get these little trackers at the bottom that show you the position as well you know what we're not seeing too much here at the moment let's jump around just a little bit here let's maybe go to another race here we are ladies and gentlemen start your engines so if you watch very carefully when this kicks off you've got all the icons of the people around you on the real arcade machine those icons represent cameras that are pointed at other drivers we're not using cameras but i'm using a webcam but you would have a camera there the other people that you overtook if they were other players and not cpu players would have their little faces there as you overtook as well live for what was going on and this is on the techno power emulator the first couple of tracks on this are really really good but then they do some other stuff on here and you know what i can't say that I, I particularly like what they've done on this version and there's a spoiler for you because there is another daytona video coming out at some point in the future for a different version of daytona which is daytona 2 and that was much better but this is just one long lap look one of one laps and nah not much fun was had by me didn't particularly enjoy that but this brings us to the end, to the end of what we're doing here. You know, I want to say thank you for sticking around so much. I really, really do. If you look at what we've done over the past couple of years, we have over 700 videos. We have got over 300 hours of content, different content. So if you put all the videos together and watch them back to back, you would have more than 300 hours of me beaming myself via the internet or whatever method you choose to watch us into your tv screen into your vr headset into twitch whatever it may be anyway thank you for being part of the journey this is the birthday for the channel woohoo two years old this channel is non-monetized commercial free and everything like that the only time you might actually get a commercial is if there's a copyright infringement and i don't know whether sometimes they do adverts there just to boost a little bit of money for whatever audio it's decided it didn't want you to have or it didn't want you to have for free anyway all of you be brilliant all of you stay safe all of you take care and i will see you in the next video goodbye 
Hey. 